Yeah, definitely. I think that's part of the privilege of being a sportsman is uh, the, you know, the ability to be able to put something back when uh, unfortunate circumstances and, and disasters around the world happen, you know, whether small scale or really big scale. Uh, I think as human beings we've got to try and uh, put something back and help, help out where we can. And you know, I guess this is our way of doing it, just rugby league. You know, I think it's great that all the, the, the other players have turned up and, and some of the people have decided to put this on. I think it's a, a great cause and I'm real pl- pleased it's such a good turnout. So, lads, it's obviously, so Joel, I'll start with you first. It's a, a great cause tonight, isn't it? Yeah, it is definitely. I think, uh, I think every player over here from, from Australia has probably got some connection to someone in Queensland that was affected and obviously the New Zealand players with the earthquake. So, uh, it's only a small thing, but I guess everything helps and it's great to be part of it. Yeah, so, obviously, Ricky Wilby's put this event together tonight. Obviously, so he, he needs to be thanked as well, doesn't he, for how much effort he's put into laying on a night like this? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, been so far away from from Australia and New Zealand to, to put an on over, on over here to you know to, to raise a little bit of support and um, you know, a little bit of uh, you know, help for the people back there. It's uh, something to certainly be commended, and um, you know, everyone's happy to support it. Yeah, it is. It's good to see everyone. Everyone's here from um, from over the top of the panels and, and um, all clubs and all coaches. And it's um, it's good to see that people will turn out for a good cause. Yeah, they do. It's you know one of the, the good, great things about playing rugby league is uh, you know the, the comradeship there and, uh, and and the bond you have as um, you know as a sport as a whole as well as you know individual teams. So uh, certainly uh, you know all the players are really happy to be here and, and join together to uh, support such a worthy cause. Yeah, it's it's good that that um, people can do this sort of stuff. And again, it's only a small small thing and a small contribution, but but it's something that we can do for for some people that are less less fortunate than us and. and it, we're in a bad situation at the moment, and, and um, there's, there's other other people, I suppose, that, are, that um, could do with that sort of money. Ricky will be, you know, he's, he's, he's organised tonight's event. He should be thanked for you know putting in so much effort and uh, pulling tonight together, shouldn't he? Yeah, Ricky's done a great job organising this, and, and certainly he's got some got some items here that that uh, people should be very interested in, and and it should be a successful night. And I'm, I'm hoping he can raise a lot of money. Yeah, no, not long at all, and um, I think as as Mick said, every player that plays here has got friends or you know, people you've played with back home so I think uh, I think every team you play every weekend there's someone from Australia that you know so it's, it's, it's a great time to get together and uh, obviously it's for a good cause and uh, you've know, got, to, you've got to enjoy it. And a, and a word on Ricky Wilby, you know, he's put a lot of effort into, into organising this tonight, he should be sort of you know, thanked for that as well shouldn't he I guess? Yeah I think so, I think it's, uh, it's a great idea to put it on and uh, well thought up by him and uh, congratulations to the lads as well who've turned out, so, uh, they've, they've obviously made that effort and there's a few brought the wives and some friends and made it some special efforts to come and, uh, and make it a special night and I'm sure that's what they're going to do. It's a great auction here tonight. Have you got your eye on anything, on anything in particular? Mate, funnily enough the uh, the sports stuff I'm not so bothered about it's the Winston Churchill one out the uh, outside I, I really like that bit of uh, old school patriotism sort of stuff and I, I reckon I've got a place for a nice place for that on me uh, in my wall in me uh, all the way there so I'll be having a look at, a look at that I think. Yeah that's all right. the rugby league community is a powerful thing and uh, you know to lend a bit of support or anything we can do for the Australian flood victims back there in Australia and the appeal, it's a, a good cause and um, it's good to have everyone in one room, all the Australian imports over here and uh, especially all the English people for, for turning up and supporting as well. That makes it all the more special, doesn't it, There's so many Australian and, uh, and Kiwis playing over in the Super League now? Yeah, that's right. It's a, uh, you know, it's, a, it's a fair mix over here now and um, you know, hopefully uh, there's talk about a game during the year with the Australian Kiwis can combine and, and, and play the English team, so uh, we'll see what happens there. There's always been a bit of a bit of a rival between you know rugby league in the northern hemisphere and then down under you know but it's, it's great to see you know that at the end of the day they can put that aside and, and really put on a great event like tonight. Yeah, that's right. You get people back home to ask you to compare both competitions, but at the end of the day it's just different. And um, you come over here for a, an experience and a, a, a something different. And um, you know it's definitely does that off the field, obviously with weather and, and the conditions. But the football and that's uh, not far off in RL, and uh, you know it's only getting stronger and just get these juniors through and hopefully England's up there competing and uh, rivaling um, those uh, southern hemisphere countries.